guest speaker, Esme, and she's going to be talking a little bit about how she likes Hanukkah, and I'm going to be asking her a little, uh, a few questions. So, um, Esme, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Edna, and I look, love Hanukkah. Hi, my name is But we're going to be talking about a little bit about Hanukkah. Wow, so cool. I mean, I'm pretty sure once I get to know all this stuff, I'm going to love Hanukkah too. So, my first question is, um, so I know that Hanukkah is called Hanukkah, but someone told me that there's a few other names um, for Hanukkah. Can you tell me? The Feast of Dedication, the Holiday of Light, and Hanukkah. Wow, the Festival of Lights, the Feast of Dedication, Hanukkah. Wow, that's so many names. So, my next question was, when I came in I um, this morning, I saw that this candelabra thing. Um, I'm really wondering what it is. Can you answer? The candelabra thing is a Hanukkah or a menorah. Wow, is, is Hanukkah the Hebrew name for menorah? Yeah. Wow, so they're basically the same thing. It's a special menorah for Hanukkah. Oh, so, wait, so a Hanukkah isn't a menorah, it's a special kind? Yeah. Wow, cool, I thought it was the same thing, but now that it's clarified, now I really understand. So, my next question was actually, um, how many days is there to Hanukkah? Eight. Wow, eight days? That's a lot. I mean, I thought it was like one or two. That's a lot of days. So, um, my next question was, if there's only eight days, then why is there nine branches of the menorah? It's because this one is a hermit candle. Wow. So, what's the servant candle? Well, the hermit candle on the first day it light, it light only one, but... We like two because of the whole big candle. Wow, so on the first day you would like two candles because the shamash or the servant candle lights all the other ones? Yeah. Wow, so that's just an extra candle that serves all the other ones, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's why it's called the servant candle. So um, that reminds me of Yeshua and how he, he lights all the other, like he lights sparks in our soul to praise him. And that's a lot like that's a lot like him. That's really cool. So also so like he came to serve, so not to be cool. Yeah, that's so cool. So my next question was, um I, I heard there was a Hebrew name for um the servant candle. Um what was like it? It's the Hamash. The Shamash. So Shamash is the Hebrew word for servant candle? It's like a servant? Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. I didn't know all this stuff before. You're really teaching me. Thank you so much. So, so let me, so Yeshua is like our servant king, but yet he's like taller than all the other ones, but yet he serves us? Yeah. That is so cool. That so, cool. then I'm wondering, so, I heard read a scripture one time, and it said that Yeshua came to serve and not to be served. So yeah, that's, that's a lot cool. like Shema, the Shemash, right? The yeah. servant candle. Yeah, that's, that's cool. really cool. Like, so he lights the whole world, and um, a can a city on a hill cannot be hidden. Like, you don't put a candle under a bowl when you light it. That just doesn't make any sense. Yeshua had. I am the light of the world. Wow. Whoever follow me will not walk in darkness. The light of light. Wow, so I read one time that uh, just like Yeshua is the light of the world and that we will not walk in darkness if we follow him, I, I read that we are the light of the world too. So how can we be like Yeshua? How is he like us? Well, because he said we are.
are the light of the world, just like he said he is. Yeah, that's a light. Because, like, do you not like us in our home? And even if we don't know it, he actually did it. How can we be like him? Well, with, with the light. Well, it's because we're like him, and if he made us like that, we're like him. Well, like I read in Genesis, um, it said that we were created in his image, and that's we can be the light of the world just like he is. Mm -hmm. Our light on other people, and how can we not just keep it to ourselves, but tell other people around about it, just like the shamash spreads to all the other candles. Well, like, some people put it out the window, and some people hail it, like, hailing kindness, feeling love to other people. Like, giving gifts on Hanukkah, and like, putting your menorah in the window? Yeah. Wow, that's so cool, and how can we be like the menorah, and how can we do this every day, not just in Hanukkah? Well, we can be kind to other people. We can love other people. We can hail other people. And we can hold love to them. Wow, so I, do I have to do some big thing for my friend or something if I want to show them kindness? No, you don't really have to do a big thing. You don't hold kindness and love to the person that you're praying with or doing something with. Wow, that's so cool. So, like, I don't have to buy them a big gift or anything. I can just do, like, a simple act of kindness, like opening the door for someone when I go to McDonald's or something. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. I know a lot about Hanukkah now. So, um, that's a lot about Hanukkah that I learned now. So, my, my last question is, how do you light the menorah? Wednesday. Well, what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold you how to let them know. Wow, that's so cool. We're gonna let them know, and what we're gonna let the whole candle. How can you hold it? Yeah. Okay, I'll let this. And I'm gonna light the whole candle. All the candles. <coughs> That how you like the Hanukkah, and if you want to put it back, you can put it back, right in the area. And we have a special blessing. We'll sing the blessing together. In English, it says, Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who <clears throat> sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to be a light to the nations and gave to us Yeshua Jesus, our Messiah, the light of the world. Wow, that's a lot like Esme taught me today. Yes. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotav Etzivanu Leheyot Or Lagoyim Benatan Lanu At Yeshua Meshecheinu Or HaOlam Amen Wow, that's so cool. Now I know how to celebrate Hanukkah at my house and light my own menorah and say the blessing. That's so cool. Now I know what Hanukkah is all about. It's a beautiful sight.